So we are here with Tim Rowe, um, founder and president of, of the Cambridge Innovation Centre, uh, one of the biggest uh, incubators in uh, co-working spaces in, in the world. And, uh, and so we were talking a little bit about how we could uh, collaborate a bit further between Portugal and, 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 and Boston and how could CSI play a bigger role in this uh, collaboration. Uh, there's already been some uh, in interchange between uh, the MIT Ventures Foundation and MIT Portugal and CIC. Also the leadership is in Castel team last year. So in, in, in your perspective, uh, in the perspective of, of, of CIC, what do you think could be uh, Portugal and Europe uh, contribute to, to enhance also the system here in Boston in terms of new startups and leverage on, on all the research that has been uh, developed in the universities in Boston? So, uh, my, my chief advice would be to break down the geographic barriers by bringing your startups here. Uh, to interact with investors here, but also partners here. Uh, the, uh, the chief difference between Lisbon and Boston is just distance. Uh, uh, if Lisbon was uh, next to Boston, uh, the next town over, we wouldn't be having this conversation, right? we would, because we would all know each other, we'd be working together. Um, but there are many direct flights between Lisbon and Boston. Uh, so the, the, the real gap tends to be that People don't know each other. You've got to break down those those distance barriers. Those um, distance barriers or trust barriers? Well, they're the same thing in my mind. Uh, so, uh, and the way to do that is to have lots of face-to-face -face contact, to be here, to be bringing startups here, to have, uh, you know, to pitch, to look for opportunities to work together on individual specific businesses where there is an opportunity. That builds trust, that builds experience together. Uh, and that, gets, that breaks down the distance. And what do you think investors in the in, in, in US, especially in, in Boston, need to see in the, the pitch or in, in, in the startups coming out of Europe and especially in Portugal in order to make it uh, successful in terms of the, in the US market? What, what can build trust and what they are looking and expecting in order to give the first step? I think investors everywhere are very creative. They're looking for opportunity. They're, they're not, uh, they don't care where it comes from. Uh, so if a business has a good idea, if they think it can grow, then they will invest. Uh, some of the biggest ideas in the world have come from small countries. Uh, Skype came from Tallinn, Estonia. Uh, there was not a big market there. There's nothing about Tallinn that suggested it would necessarily be the origin of that particular business. But it came from there. Right? Uh, so a big idea can come from anywhere. Investors are looking to see are there big ideas that they can get behind and make into global successes. Uh, but of course they have to hear about it first. They have to meet the people and get excited about it. And so that's about breaking down the distance barriers. And it's important also to develop partnership between investors in the US and, 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 and in those countries of origin of the startups. Or there's no need for these uh, networks of investors. You can, you, the entrepreneurs can come directly into the... In my experience with uh, companies that have gotten funded in Europe and then later get funding here, uh, the connections have usually not been between the investors. It's really been the startup making the connection that, that open things up. Um, once an investor is interested in the startup, they'll talk with the investors, they'll build a relationship at that point. Uh, but for the most part, uh, investors are very short-sighted, so they, they will look at what's in front of them. They're not going to look at the other side of the world unless they happen to be there or unless someone comes. So, um, you, you know, it's really just a question of uh, finding ways to put people in touch with each other and build, as you say, trust, but probably face-to-face -face as much as possible. And then they, they need to be incorporated here or they can get along with being incorporated elsewhere? Uh, generally, uh, most investors would look at that as a technical matter and they wouldn't worry about it at all. They would turn it over to the lawyers, the lawyers will figure that out, and they wouldn't even really think about it. If it's incorporated in the wrong place, you can always reincorporate it. That's a detail. Okay. And the thing is, you were talking about the example like Skype, now we're talking about, for example, Berlin, Berlin startup scene. You have 
uh, SoundCloud. Uh, how how, how re relevant do you think it is to have a, a case study, to have an, a good example in order to build trust and, and then to open the doors to other, other startups? Is, is, is it really important and should we focus on having our uh, the nights, the, the case studies that we put in front and then others can follow? Or I think it's very helpful to have a success because it becomes a story people talk about. Um, but I think at the end of the day, investors are just interested in good companies. And good companies come from everywhere. Uh, so uh, you know, what, what the success would do is maybe build a little bit of buzz. Maybe investors would put offices there if they saw a lot of successes coming up, the way many investors have put offices in Israel because there were a lot of successes there. Uh, but even if you don't have the office, I don't think that's a barrier. Uh, as long as you have, uh, maybe as long as you're telling your story and you're, you're getting in front of investors, they'll listen. Anything there? Uh, one more question. Yeah, for example, the traditional way of looking at countries and say like Germany is a uh, uh, traceability, uh, the products are, are reliable, uh, each of these a bit of passion and design. Uh, what kind of industries, talking about Portugal, that people are expecting to see, or which industries have, could be have more potential for investors in the US coming out of, of Portugal? Does it have a uh, kind of a mindset of what could be a good startup coming out of Portugal? It doesn't, I think at this point uh, you have an open field. Uh, you have an opportunity to define what people think of Portugal. Uh, because I think most people don't have a clear impression. But I will tell you this, uh, if 20 years ago or 30 years ago if you asked what the impression of India was, mm -hmm. they might say, I don't know, Gandhi, um, you know, poor people, Calcutta. Uh, if you asked today, they would say software, high tech, uh, right, uh, music, film. You know, so um, you have the opportunity to define uh, what you are in people's minds, and uh, what you will succeed at doing that by succeeding at something very specific, something exciting. You build it, people will come. Good.